half of you will do a workshop that's an introduction to design and engineering, all right? We're gonna talk really specifically about what it means to design and then start building those designs. The other half are going to do an introduction to electronics and coding. Growth in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics jobs. Has anybody done a whole lot of computer programming already? Is expected to outpace non-STEM jobs over the next decade. What is one thing that every circuit that's gonna have electricity flowing and doing stuff, what does it need? and leaders in Montgomery County want young residents here to be prepared for those jobs when they enter the workforce. In hopes of sparking that interest, the county has partnered with the Kid Museum and Montgomery County Public Schools to promote STEM for local youth through the Invent the Future Challenge. We need our kids to develop the capacity to be creative problem solvers. We need them to learn how to collaborate effectively with their peers and we need them to see how they can persevere in pursuit of a goal and learn through trial and error. Did you fail? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was such a resounding yes and I couldn't be happier about it. Yes, you failed, I'm sure you did. That's okay, that is a huge part of what we do here. And that's really different than what we're doing traditionally in our schools. It's this combination of these skills that we get at here at KID and it's what makes this kind of learning so powerful. Remember guys, you only get four cuts and one of them has to be a 45 degree angle. The Invent the Future Challenge asks students to identify a problem facing our environment and then develop and prototype a solution to that problem. Uh, the question of that challenge is what will you make to protect the planet? The initiative is geared at middle school students who will work in small groups and use their skills to problem solve using STEM concepts to design their solutions. I'm making an addition sign. You can call me like a nerd, but I really love math. This is this is a really exciting partnership. Cool. Thank you. All right, pressure's on. What do you make? I think from a broad perspective, we need to uh, continue to have one of the most highly qualified workforces. I should try that. You should. That you'll find anywhere in the country, and creating the pipeline of talent to come into the companies that want to locate here, that want to expand here is an essential strategy for us economically and the partnership the kids that you see here are hopefully kids that are going to be you know the leading talent for some of our most dynamic companies in the future we have over 36,000 middle school students they're waiting for this opportunity and we have to create it for them because when they reach that intersection of the known and the unknown they're going to have a lot of decisions to make a lot of opportunities to engage in and a lot of challenges and problems to look at, think about, and solve. And that's absolutely our responsibility to make sure that they are well prepared. Officials say providing this hands-on project-based learning builds confidence and critical thinking skills, qualities needed to succeed in the future. We're going to be doing a design challenge where you only get to use popsicle sticks and hot glue. Um, so it's an economic imperative for us to succeed, to be able to have a thriving community. But there's also a social justice element because if we only rely, as Dr. Smith said, on, on you know, those families that can afford to pay for the enrichment themselves, then it's not a door that's opening for everyone. And, you know, our kids are digital natives. They, they know what these phones can do. What we need to explain to them is how close the connection is between what, what they're able to do with their phone and a job. And that's through coding and that's through other kinds of techniques that they can learn here and in other settings in our libraries, in our, through our rec programs. And you know, that's, that's what this is, is, is opening the door and, and ensuring that everyone can be part of it. The county donated the space at the Davis Library for the Kid Museum to carry out its vision. It's stuck right now, so I'm taking them all out so that they can run smoothly. Throw a baseball down there, see what happens. This is your last shot. The museum is focused on empowering future generations to invent the future with imagination and to spark a passion to make a difference.